Setting up Whisper in four minutes or less. Yes, it can be done. Go ahead and start your stopwatch now. This presumes that you have already loaded up WSJT, got all the settings right there, you got your CAT control set, you're probably working FT8. If you're working FT8, we can move on. So let's do that. First thing you want to go to your radio and make sure that your RF gain is turned all the way up. Your power is turned to a low level. Mine is currently set to 5 watts, which is the lowest I'll go. And uh, AGC is turned off. Now, to get to Whisper mode, you come up here and select Mode, then pick Whisper. And I'm going to erase those. Uh, now, you want to click on Upload Spots, which will upload your received spots to Whisper.net. You want to click on Band Hopping. I like the uh, the transmit percent percentage to be at 25%, so that means one out of four times I'm going to be transmitting. Uh, the schedule is I'm going from sunset gray line through the night to sunset gray line, sunrise gray line on 80. A 40 and 20 are all turned on. During the day, I have uh, sunrise to sunset. A 6 meter I leave turned on all the time just in case I happen to pick up some sporadic E. Come down here, click on TX Next. Now you sit back and just let the radio and the computer and WSJT do its wonderful work. I'll be back tomorrow sometime and I'm going to let this run overnight. For uh, overnight and for a few hours since and uh, let's hop over to whispernet.org and see what's happened We're there. We're going to go to the database. I'm going to say I want to look at all bands. I put my call sign right in here. I want to look at the last 24 hours and I've got it set to sort by distance. I will update it and you can see that I was pulling in Australia, New Zealand. Uh, after Australia and New Zealand, I hopped over to Germany. So those were stations that were hearing me. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to get rid of my call here and I want to see stations that I heard with the same information. Again, I heard uh, Australian and uh, oh on 10 meters here's a PY uh, that's good at Germany uh, so yes e, uh, I'm, I'm picking up a lot of things so that's uh, the whispernet.org website. Uh, why do we want to use Whisper? First it's a complete system checkout from your computer through your sound card to your radio out through the coax up into the antenna radiating out into the ether if you're making it out you're making it out you're probably okay the other reason is if you're looking for a certain country or a certain region running whisper will allow you to know what bands they're on when they heard you and uh, increase your chances at making that contact that's it for now I'm Tom ND3N Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Until next time, seven threes. I'm out.